Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be talking about four tips for reading your Bible. A little backstory, I am a Christian. I've been a Christian officially since I was 15. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do early on was I wanted to really understand things. I didn't wanna just be taught and told. I wanted to understand and come to terms with everything for myself. I always felt weird when people quoted stuff and I didn't know what it was. So I was like, I need to find that out. Or, you know, when people were talking about certain stories about, you know, scripture, and I'm like, where is that? What is that? And through it, I've learned a lot. I've really examined my heart and myself from reading scripture and really have a totally different outlook on various situations and perspectives on life. First off, let me show you Bible goals. Okay, this is not my Bible though. Let me show you this. So my great aunt passed away maybe like five years ago. And one day I just walked into my house and there was like six Bibles on the table. And this Bible was on the table. And I was like, this one is pretty intense. I open it up, everything is highlighted. And Isaiah now, highlighted all the way towards like Peter. Highlighted. So my great aunt, I was not close with her. She lived kind of far away. But my great aunt read the entire thing and wow. studied the entire thing. This is a study Bible, it's, it's a reference Bible. It's not necessarily like, you know, a regular one. So in it, if you look on it, you see the scriptures, but then at the bottom, there's like information. I literally was handed this thing and I was like, this is amazing. I really looked at how she studied this and I was like, wow, this is so in depth. This is goals. So now what I do is I reference this when I'm reading mine. So let me show you mine. This is my Bible. I, mean, I won't take it out of the case, but anyways, it's it's massive, of course. I liked, I wanted Bibles with big font. I love highlighting and it's King James Version. And I absolutely love it. I really do. I love reading my Bible. I love just sitting and just pouring over it and understanding it. And I love when I find a scripture that I've never heard of before. Where do you start? So this will be my first tip. Where do you start? Okay, you're a brand new Christian or you want to know something about the Bible. Where do you begin? I read a lot of the Psalms. Proverbs and Matthew. Those were the beginning of my journey. Um, great stuff. Psalms is really, you know, really prayers. So you're reading it and you're kind of like, I could pray these. You know what I mean? I could pray these scriptures. Proverbs is all these tips and tidbits and wisdom and there's so much great information in there. And a lot of that stuff you'll see quoted um, often. And then Matthew, um, because of the little Bible that I used to own was literally the first chapter. So I would always just read it. So I learned a lot about uh, the, beati the Beatitudes or Beatitudes, is that Beatitudes, Beatitudes? The Sermon on the Mount, all that stuff. I read that over and over and over again. And it was great. And you learn a lot about Jesus. So where I would recommend, I would definitely start with the four Gospels. So Matthew, Luke, John, and Mark. Um, I would definitely start with one of those. I would recommend John. And I also loved the book of Luke. Definitely, 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 definitely would recommend that as a good beginning. Why? Because it lays down the foundation for everything, especially John, it talks about going back to the beginning. So it even kind of correlates it to Genesis and it brings it all together. And you really get the message of what this whole thing is about in one chapter. Point number two, take your time. First of all, like any book, you wanna take your time, read it, understand it, comprehend it, speak it out loud. Make sure that it's internalized and that you're understanding it. There's actually a scripture about that. It says, your word have I hidden in my heart. So when you're reading it, you really want it to be a part of you. Sometimes you can read through a whole part and not understand what was said or what the story was about. And that leads me to point number three. Point number three is look at multiple versions. King James Version is kind of like the standard. There's also English Standard Version, ESV, which a lot of people use. I also really like the New Living Translation because it's very modern terms, a little bit easier to understand. Uh, Amplified, I love because it's like super in context. Point number four, study. If you went to university or college, you know what it means to study a textbook, right? You have your highlighter, you have your pen, you're writing little notes in, you're, you know, you're comparing and blah, 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 you're trying to memorize it. Do the same thing for your Bible. It is our textbook for life. So why not study it as such? Get a good journal, get a good notebook, really, you know, write out certain things that are interesting to you or things that pop out to you or things that you have questions about or things that you want to know more about. And you know what I love? I should have pointed this out. In some Bibles, I'll show you in mine. In some Bibles, you have the margins, right? In the middle. And that will connect, let's say this scripture 
will connect to another scripture that's in the Bible. So you can see the different, you know, context of where it's coming from. A lot of the times, uh, Jesus will quote scriptures that came from the Old Testament. You can go back to the Old Testament and see what it was talking about. So it just gives you more and more context. But seriously, study it, highlight it. You saw my great aunt's amazing Bible example. She studied this thing like her life depended on it. So those are my four tips. Um, and I just want to share with you guys my favorite scripture, one that I always go back to. And some countries, they don't have it physically. They literally do have to memorize it and hide it. You know, if someone finds them reading it, they can get in trouble, really, really big trouble. So I never take it for granted. No matter what's going on in life, I always try to come back to it. And I know that it always will speak to me. And that's another thing I should have said. Pray before you read it. Because this is how God talks. It's not always through another person. It's not always going to be in like a divine dream. But he does speak through this. This is what we call his word. So if you look, this was one of the first ones I ever highlighted. It's a very faded pink. Um, and it's Psalm 18 verses 1 to 3. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. This scripture, when I read it, literally jumped out of the page for me. And the reason why I jumped out was because this was how I was feeling, you know, just about my prayer, just how I was feeling about God and to see it in words just kind of spoke to my heart and woke me up. You know, it talks a lot about God being our strength and being our deliverer. And that was a message that I needed at that time. So God was speaking that to me. So if you ever have those moments, highlight it. Get to know that scripture, memorize that scripture, and really make it a part of who you are and your identity. And he's waiting for us to pursue him. And this is one way that we pursue is by reading scripture. I hope that this helps you on your journey, on your Bible reading experience. Honestly, this is the best book of all time. Just get to know it. Just give it a try. So those are my tips. I hope this video helped. Um, comment below, like, subscribe. Let me know what you want to know, what struggles you have with reading it, what questions you may have um, about scripture and things that you are working on and things that you love. What's your favorite scripture? Let me know.